Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Monday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that will not become visible, and nothing secret that will not become known and come to light. Take care, then, how you hear. To anyone who has, more will be given. And from the one who has not, even what he seems to have will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we've just got three short verses today, but they're jam-packed because it actually connects to uh, the passage that we read on Saturday concerning the parable of the soils. We have to think about the fact that even though we read these in segments, in the scriptures, these are connected. Uh, they, they go together. They're a part of, of an occurrence in Jesus' life. So if we kind of marry the two together, uh, at the end of uh, Saturday's passage, <clears throat> where we have the parable of the sower, and the, uh, we see the s- different soils, the last verse before we get to today's verse goes, But as for the seed that fell on rich soil, they are the ones who, when they have heard the word, embrace it with a generous and good heart and bear fruit through perseverance. No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sets it under a bed. See how it fits together? So he's talking about those who've received the word that it's it's been good. It actually has born great fruit. There's been uh, a generosity of recipi- receiving the word and a generosity in accepting and placing that word fruitfully in your life, that they were able to uh, bear the fruit uh, that God was producing in their good heart through the seed of the word of God. And they were persevering. They were continuing to walk that life out. And as he's saying, in persevering, you you got to keep your lamp lit. You don't conceal it. You let that lit lamp be visible. Don't, don't hide it. So once you have come into a knowledge of who Jesus is, you now have the opportunity to illuminate that message that others too might be involved. In other words, you turn from being the recipient of the seed to a sower yourself. So you received the seed of the word of God. It was planted in your heart. There's been fruit that has been born in your life from it. Now guess what? You too can sow seed. You do it by letting the light of your life shine. And Matthew 16, there's this great verse that goes along with this where Jesus says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. So we have to remember, letting our light shine is not how we uh, connect with God. It's not how we find our way to God. It's because we have already found our way to God. So in other words, we don't live our lives as the light of the gospel, as it's explained here, in order to receive salvation, but in order that we're working out the salvation that we've received. We are now a part of the message of salvation to others. Sometimes it's it's really easy for us to get caught up in ourselves, and we just think about, well, all I have to do is I've got to live a good life for God. No, that's not how it works. You receive the word that's implanted in your heart, the gospel, the gospel that says that we've been redeemed by the passion and death of Jesus Christ. And because of that, we work out in our lives the the grace that he has for us. And as we live our lives out loud for him, 
we have the opportunity for us to influence others in the way we live. <clears throat> That's why, <clears throat> as he says here, <clears throat> when your lamp is lit, when you have that relationship with God alive in your heart, that you, you don't conceal it, you don't put it under a bushel or under a bed, as it says in this particular version. Um, you don't put it in a clay pot so that people can't see the light. They want uh, to be able to see the light. And that's the important thing. And as he said, nothing is going to be hidden. If your motives are to hide from the light, um, it's going to be revealed somehow because at the end of time, all things will be revealed. So let your light so shine before men. Let your lives shine out to others. The work that God is doing in your life, the work of grace, the work of maturity, the work that continues as we pray and uh, worship, as we go to Mass, as we serve Him in the various ministries we're a part of, all of those things are means through which our light begins to burn brightly and can shine for others. I just uh, think, for example, of some of the ministries that we have in our churches. Uh, what about the ministry of the food pantry? And just think about the ways in which when we give food to the needy, we also have an opportunity for them to experience the love of God through our demeanor, through the way that we treat them, through the ways in which God loves them through us, that we are able to uh, show them the love of God in a powerful way. We can do that in a number of ways. Uh, we can let our light so shine when we're on the road. We can let our light shine when we're in stores. We can let our light shine at the office or in the factory, wherever we happen to go. We can let Jesus' light shine out of us so that others might be able to see the good news in our lives and then respond accordingly in finding that light for themselves. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, today probably a good takeaway is just to think about the opportunities that we do have in our life, the opportunities that we have to uh, let people know of Jesus just through our actions, let alone our, our words, but just by our actions, uh, that we can again find uh, means through which those that encounter us on a daily basis see that there's something different going on in our lives. Just think about your life. Think about the people that you're around. Is there a way that you too can let your light so shine before men? So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.